Hey guys, welcome back to Gina Not Gina Productions. I'm Gina Not Gina here back playing Outlast. Um, I'm recording several videos in a row. Um, I'm probably going to end up with a huge backlog because like I said, I'm really enjoying the game and so I want to play it. So um, I'm just continuing though. I really do have to take breaks every now and then because man, this heart just, this game just gets my heart going. Um, this is part 16. And uh, the last episode, we got rid of the doctor, the evil doctor. And um, I wish I would have cut him in half. That would have been way cooler than just squishing him. Um, but yeah, so we're back. And the priest guy came and we have to find him. Lego. She got them apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. Jesus. I have to open that so violently. Oh, no copyright infringement intended for what I just sang. I like your song, which is why I sang it. I'm sorry. I should not have. I did get like a copyright thing on this game. Um, I was here, so I have to go into the video room that. I did get a, it was like copyright match or something, but it was from somebody that like, I had no idea were even involved in this game. Cause when I looked them up online, they were like some, um, they were in some Asian language, <laughs> which I mean, I could believe that this is probably Asian made because it's so good. I had to burn it. Oh. And you're Murder relatively so normal shit. looking. Use us. Are you that guy? Listen to these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Let it burn no, I can't do that. Down. No copyright infringement intended. Look at my poor hands. My poor fingers. Where are these kitchens exactly? Not that way. Apparently. What was I talking about? I don't even remember. Oh, that I can believe that probably an Asian company had something to do with this because it's so good. Not that American um, video game companies can't do a good job, but is this guy still considered an indie game? I mean, I know it's pretty popular. I don't know a lot about it. That's just, I'm just trying to be thorough. You never know when you can find more Patrice. Why is this? Okay, I, I guess it is on fire. I was going to say, why is it this one table on fire? But it is. Okay. I'll leave you to it. So yeah, um, one thing I did want to tell you guys is uh, comment on my videos. I really want your feedback and to know um, like what you guys think. Uh, yeah. Because I, I mean, I am still, I mean, I've been doing it for a little while now, but I'm still really new at it. And my sister gives me a lot of feedback, but, um, and I know people like, you're not just trying to be nice. You want to be watching if you didn't like it, but I really do like the feedback and to know what you guys are thinking. And, um, like if I'm doing anything annoying or you want me to do more, you want me to do less or whatever, um, <laughs> Yeah, as I get more popular, I have a lot of ideas about fan stuff that I want to do. And uh, if I get fans, I'm assuming that I'll be popular, but <laughs> um, I don't know. Is that a buttress? Crouchy crouch? No, it's a pen. Teasing me. Okay, let's read this. Badly. 
If you're seeing things, say something. There's no shame in psychological proximity stress disorder, PPSD. Talk to your supervisor and get help from Merkoff Success Counselor. Yeah, I want these guys checking out my mental health. I realized at the end of both, like, I think the last two videos, but there may have been the last video and then the one before that. I said, allons-y. Um, sorry. Get stuck in my head. I'm not going to tell you what it's from. If you get the reference, good for you. Mike. Missy. Anybody else? I'll try not to let that part of me show. Oh, I'm a total dweeb. Pretty much anything science fiction. I'm space and travel and timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff. Melissa is probably like, I wondered how long it would take her to bring Doctor Who into this. And I told you what it's from, I bet. But yeah, she's probably like, I wonder how long it would take you to bring Doctor Who into this. Not long. This is not remotely anywhere near. Oh, of course, more vowels. Oh, I can, there's a locker in here. That's good to know. But bad, because that means something is going to be trying to eat my giblets. Yep, something's going to be trying to eat my giblets. Giblet eaters. Oh, it's Chris Walker. Motherfucker. I should just know anytime I have to do anything with vowels. Chris Walker. Stop breathing. Stupid house, stop being on fire so loud. I know as soon as I come out of here, he's going to be right there. He's busting me out of the door. Chris Walker, I mean, just saved. Nope. Chris Walker. Fuck. Where was he? Oh, he was right there. Oh, he's quick. He is quick. I trap myself. Come on, just get the squeezies. Squeezy, squeezy. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Ha! <sighs> Motherfucker. I'm probably too close to the camera now. My lighting's all on. Yeah, you can't squeeze because too many hamburgers. But I need to be that way. Really. Come back. I'm gonna do. 
because hopefully he'll come past here. Like he'll go that way. And then once he's down that hall, I'll go and get behind him. Or he's gonna pull me out of this locker and rip off my head. It's honestly the other crazies that scare me. Like Chris Walker is scary, but I kind of know what to expect with him. Like I know if he shows up, bad things are gonna happen. Whereas like other dudes, they may be chill or they may try to kill you. So like at least Chris Walker is consistent. Run. find something useful. Do I pissing you off before? <laughs> oh, he could probably get in from over there, can he? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's one of the ones without a ducky. This is so like turn you around. This goes back. Oh, there he is. Nope. Go back, you hamburger bitch. He actually is like pretty smart. He turns and looks. Like obviously he's not that smart. I'm standing right here and he could probably push all that shit aside. So I'll just go straight. I actually think I'm gonna call this session here. Um, I got really far. We may end up having to do this, but I have like one minute left and I'm definitely not going to do it in the next minute. And I don't really want to play again. Like I think I'm done for Sunday at three o'clock in the morning. Um, thank you guys again for tuning in. I'm sorry if this one was like, these past few sessions have been a little less funny. I've just been distracted. <laughs> But um, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. For everybody that's sharing, thank you so, so much. Um, 
please just keep up the good work and the like hard work that you guys are doing to share my videos. I know like you probably hate spamming your Facebook wall. I know I do, but it really, really helps. I mean, this is like really something I want to make a living at and I really love it. And I just, I really want it to work. So every little bit that you guys do, you're like helping me reach my dreams. And I really, really appreciate it. I know that seems kind of silly because I play video games, but really, you guys are awesome and there's not that many of you yet but hopefully in the future people will be looking back on this when i do have quite a few subscribers and i just want to thank you in advance for um for liking me and watching my stuff and sharing my stuff it really means a lot and um if you're new to the channel welcome um i hope i can just keep you guys entertained and that you'll like it and want to watch and have a good time. So thank you guys so, 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 so much. I love you. Um, just, yeah, I love you guys. So, um, thanks again. I'll see you the next episode.